talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! There we go. Oh yeah, it's a serious one. There we go. Yes! We're figuring them out. All right. All right, folks, I got a long-eared sunfish. It's not a bad-sized one, though. We finally figured them out. They're, you gotta use a cork real close to the bank. He's not worth keeping. Beautiful sunfish, though. And you just work these banks, and they're pretty much anywhere along any of the banks. About two feet out and two feet down with a cork. Problem is when you're using this canoe without a bobber, the canoe spins even when you're anchored. And it's hard to hold a bait in place properly, so I'm trying this method instead. You want it on. That ain't bad. We'll keep him for sure. A little better. Man, we're nailing them now. One right after another. It's a nice bluegill here. Oh, he peed all over me. <laughs> oh, man, you got another one too. Yours might be a little too small. Yep. All right, folks. Nice bluegill there. We're trying to catch bluegill right now, and then we're going to go for bass and crappie in the evening. See, we're figuring it out now. We got it. Easy. Two feet, 24 inches down, two feet from the bank, and you just barely cast it over there and just hold back and set tight. Got a bluegill on the worming bobber. Hold him up for us. Too small to keep. I think it's too small. Especially on that side, that's where I used to catch the crappie on that side of the tree. We still got that for later. When I start lure fishing, I'm going to try a beetle spin. That's what I was doing really good on yesterday, or something with a little spinner added to it, a small jig. Nice crappie. 
He's a 12 or 13. Oh, we got the dip net. Where'd it go? Good job, hon. Oh, that's a nice crappie. Man, I ain't got my phone on me either. I'm going to have to tell him later. It's going to be funny. Right when you pulled the boat away, we started... What are you doing? No, it wasn't up here yet. Oh, that's a nice one. All right, folks. We're finally having some luck. We got worms, minnows, and lures. That is a keeper crop. Wow. Oh, yeah. He's... He's 12, he ain't quite 13, but that's a beaut. Nice crappie. Nice white crappie, man. That's what I'm wanting. Okay, I want you to take this and zoom, or I'll just do this. Folks, that's a gorgeous crappie right here. Will, you just left a minute ago and we was having bad luck. It's 2.25 in the afternoon. You just drove away no later than a minute ago and I caught this crappie. We ain't even to the rock yet. We're about 100 yards up the lake from the rock. Caught this crappie on a bobber and minnow. You shouldn't have left. I know you probably had to leave, but I feel bad now. I'm going to rub it in later when I get home and get to my phone. All right, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, but I don't know his number. Look at that. Decent, isn't it? Look at that. It's a bluegill. Big one. Oh, man. Red ear, I think. No, bluegill. See, on the minnows, I told you. Catch all the big ones on minnows. All right, folks, I just got a bluegill on a bobber and minnow. For some reason, you get really nice ones on the minnow. And on the worms, you get all the smaller ones. It's a nice bluegill. He's seven. Seven inches. All right, we're starting to get a good variety now and a good bucket. bad not bad at all decent it's not huge by any means but it's a keeper all right get her in the bucket look at my minnow it's destroyed make sure now see you need to hooked into a nice bass he's a keeper he's jumped three times already <laughs> as soon as my minnow hit the bo bottom uh, water he, he attacked it pretty much right away oh, yeah starting to have a good day just sporadic here and there you don't get nothing for a half an hour and then you get one more but they're adding up they're adding up there you go oh oh it's a pecker one he's pecking at it <laughs> he just kept going like this over and over did you get him all right hey hit, that's fighting bit it's a big bluegill wow no good job honey that's a like i was getting the other day right there like those get it, get 
Wilman just got a nice bluegill. He couldn't pull a bobber under. We didn't think he was this big, but it's a nice one. No, it ain't quite as big as the ones I was getting, but it's keeper. She got him on a worm and bob. She caught him on a worm and bobber. Calm down. Calm down. Get off my soda. Will you calm down? She caught him on a worm and bobber. It's a decent bluegill. Looks like the main species today are bass, bluegill, and crappie. Good catch. Was that on a minnow or? Oh, yeah, worm. Uh, here, big old bluegill out in the middle of the very middle of the lake, like 20 feet from the bank and two feet down, and all of a sudden. Her, her line just jetted out. It, that thing took off. Yeah, he's eight inches. He took off like 30 mile an hour. I never seen, I mean, he went berserk, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the, the four snips are in the same thing as the bobbers. God, that's a monster bluegill. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut it. I ain't gonna be able to get it even with those four snips. No way. God. That's a nice bluegill, hon. My goodness, look at this, guys. She got a, finally got a decent one for the day. It's a big bluegill. We thought she had something besides a bluegill, the way it was acting. hooks oh probably seven or eight caught another one not a monster but it's a bluegill me and her are getting ready to switch tactics we're going to move around and fish with worms and bobber closer to the bank and try to see if we can do it where we're getting a bite every time it hits the water like we were earlier. And because uh, right now it's five, I'm going to do that for an hour and then I'm going to strictly jig fish or minnows if there's any alive by then. They're all small too, but the last hour of the evening I'm going to strictly try for big bass and big crappie. So right now we're just trying to get, I'm trying to see if there is war mouth in here and trying to get a bigger bluegill than nine inches, like a 10 inch or, or some decent red ear. And right now I gotta change my battery and then I'm gonna start using worms and bobber again. See, I sight fished him. Got him. Oh, it's a nice one. Yes, wow. There we go, guys. Unfortunately, swallowed the damn hook. I sight fished this bluegill. He was about two inches off the top of the water around a creosote pole, an old dock or something. There's several poles out from us here. And I put my worm right in front of his face and he chased it down. Down, chased it down and uh, in a matter of time he was on there. Cool. He's about seven inches. It's a nice bluegill. We haven't had a bad day. We, we're just getting them about every half hour of fish to keep. And they've just been adding up because we put in several hours. So we're getting there. Got a lot of fish, actually. I bet we got 10 fish in the bucket. Oh, now I get to tie a new hook on. Goodness gracious. All right, guys, another bluegill. Another seven inch or no giants today. I don't know what the deal is. We're getting half. Oh! 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 Fuck! God! What is that? 
it went completely through my ear. Completely through it. <sighs> Shit. I have a hook in my ear, but I'm still tough enough. I might as well stay here. I'm going to have to go to the VA hospital after I leave here. It ain't all the way through, but I can't pull it out. If it was all the way through past the barb, I'd be able to cut it and just slide it out. But I cannot cut it because the barb is not, it's barely poking out the other side. And I tried to rip it out back the way it came and it won't. Uh, it's not, not a good day. Wilma got me. All right, got a bluegill, guys. Red ear, finally. They're biting a lot better now that it turned six o'clock and the sun's not overhead. That's a decent red ear. My biggest one out of here. It's only my second one out of here, in fact. All right, folks. Second red ear out of this lake. Not too bad. Another worm again. Bluegill. This one's only about six. <sighs> Alright, folks, another red ear. Just something wrong with them. Really bad infection going on there. Caught two red ears today. 